Good morning. My name is Barbara Hurd, and I will be your Sunday school teacher for today. But let's get started with our devotion. We want to do the Lord's Prayer, and then I want you to sing, Jesus Loves Me. So everybody bow your head and fold your hands, and let's do the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our, de our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Now if you would sing along with this video, Jesus Loves Me. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me, he who died, heaven's gates to open wide. He will wash away my sin, let his little child come in. Yes, Jesus loves me, Okay, very good, very good. Now let's get into our lesson. Our lesson topic today is unlimited love. Unlimited love. Our faith block is I will share love God's way. I will share love God's way. The, back, the background scripture is 1 Corinthians 12, 27, but the lesson scripture is 1 Corinthians 13, 1 to 13. We have a key verse in this 1 Corinthians 13, 13. Now these three remain, faith, hope, and love, but the greater of these is love. I want you to remember that because you will hear some more in the lesson, okay? So since we're talking about uh, scriptures, let's get into the books of the Bible. So how many books do the Bible have? Do you know? Okay, I see your hand. How many do I have? 66. You're right. So how many books in the Old Testament? Did someone say 39? Yes, 39. So that make how many in the New Testament? You're right. 27. 27. 39 and 27 makes 66. See, we're learning the books of the Bible, so make sure you keep practicing that, okay? Okay, so our lesson title, Unlimited Love. And you will discover the importance of love and sharing it God's way. Sharing it who way? My way? Your way? Your way? No, sharing love God's way, okay? Now, what do that mean? Can you show someone love as you are mean to them? Frown at them instead of smiling at them? Turn, at your, turn up your nose at them? The answer is no, you cannot. You cannot show people love by being mean and frowning at them. No, you cannot show love that way. 
So our lesson today is about love. Can you tell me what is love? What do the word love mean? Do you know? Oh, get you a piece of paper and a pencil and write down your answer. Write down what you think the word loves, love means. Okay? I'm going to give you a minute. Oh, but I see that you are having problems. We're trying to come up with what love means. So, we have a video called What is Love? So sit back and look at the video so you can find out what is love. What is love? It's not in a song. <laughs> What is love? Um, uh, let's see. Uh, no idea. I do not. I don't know too much about it. Love means like you love someone, love something, love them. You fall in love with another person. What is love? The thing that you like love people. Love is like a way of saying, I got you. Huh? I love you. A what? I love you, is what you're saying. Oh, I love you? Yeah. Aw, thank you. But, uh, what is love? It's where you care about somebody and you live with them and you just love them. Like your boyfriend or your mom or dad. Do you have a boyfriend? Love means when um, you be nice and not mean and you're interested in a person. It's a feeling of happiness. It's a sign of happiness. Love is feeling. 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 A good feeling. A warm feeling. It's a feeling and kind of a taste. Where in your body do you feel love? Oh, um, mostly to the right, but sometimes the left. In your heart. Hot. Hot. My feet. What is love? Love is something that everyone has, but they still have to find. Sometimes you can get mad. Sometimes feels uncomfortable. It's an emotion. A heartbeat. Love smells like flowers. Love being like butterflies. It could mean different things, like you could like love your family. Who's some people that you love? My friends, my mom. What is love? That's what is love. What is love? Huh. I actually have I don't know. I don't know love. Love is a thing that you like. It's when you like 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 somebody. You like someone. When people like each other. A lot. A lot. Like a lot, a lot. When two people really, 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 really like each other. So much. If you like someone and you want to marry them. That is when you get married. You get married. If you have like a good relationship. What is love? A lion. A fire. What is love? A uh, angel. To me, love is disgusting. Love is not being fake. When two people find each other in the world, caring for someone. Caring about someone with, with your whole heart. That you can trust. Someone you trust. It's a passionate thing. When you're really happy. Mushy gushy. Kissing somebody and hugging somebody. When you hug someone. Two people kiss. Kissing. Kissing, kissing, kissing. Mm -hmm. Love? What Love is, it? is like What is that? This straws. Straws? <laughs> okay. Did you say the same thing to some of the kids in the video? Did you? But I tell you what, we're going to go through the lesson first, then at the end we're going to come back and we're going to talk about the meaning of the word love. Okay? Okay, so like I said, the topic is unlimited love. So our scripture is 1 Corinthians 13 chapter verse 1 through 13. We read that without love, speech and language are just noise that's made by a gong or a cymbal. Without love, the gift of prophecy, speaking from, speaking words from God and knowing the future would do us no good. Having enough faith to command mountains to move would do us no good. 
There would be no value in giving everything we own to the poor if we do not love. Those who love others are patient and kind. They're, they are not jealous, proud, rude, demanding, or irritable. Love helps us not give up or lose faith. With love, we are hopeful and endure in hard times. Love lasts forever. Now we know a little, and the gift of prophecy shows a little, but when the ends come, prophecy speaking different languages and special knowledge will disappear. When you are a child, you speak and think like a child. When you grow up, you stop doing those things. It is like looking through a cloudy mirror. Soon we will see more clearly. Now we have partial knowledge, but later we will have understanding more. Only three things will last, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. Okay, so that's the scripture. Now let's get into the lesson, unlimited love. There are different ways to show love to others. When you love someone, you are patient and kind to that person. You are not jealous and you do not brag. Your show of love means that you are not rude or selfish. When you love someone, you do not get angry easily and you do not keep score when someone does you wrong. Do you keep score? Oh, she stepped on my feet again. I, I'm just not gonna have this. Don't keep score. When you love, you do not enjoy evil but rejoice over the truth. When you put love in action, you are patiently accepting all things, are crusting and always hope love never ends. Now someday the gift of prophecy, speaking in unknown languages and possessing special knowledge will become useless, but love will last forever. Paul wrote that when you were a child, you spoke and you thought as a child, but when you grow up, you must put away childish things. Three things will last forever, faith, hope, and love, and the greatest of these is love. So we heard that in the beginning, that faith, hope, and love, and the greatest of these is love. God is love. Did you know that, that God is love? It is important to remember that God loves you and me, he loved all of us. God can't help loving you because it is who he is. Always remember that God loved you first. Did you know that? God loved you first. All you have to do is return that love to him. What, whoever does not love does not know God. God is love. So you may have some friends that's not showing love because they just might not know God because God is love. We love because God first loved us. You know others, we, you show others your love by how you treat them. How you treat people, show them that you love them. If you're mean to them, hateful to them, not sharing with them, that's not showing love. That's not how God wants you to be, okay? We show our love by how we treat others, by being kind, helpful. You can show your parents love by how you treat them. Be obedient, obey your parents. Listen to your parents' instructions. Help with cleaning your room and other duties your parents give you. Help your parents around the house. Show them you love them by being obedient, by helping clean the house, helping take care of things, helping fold up the clothes. There are ways you can show your parents that you love them because they love you, okay? Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes. Now I told you that at the end, we're gonna get back to the video. As to what did you see in the video? Did you find the meaning of the word love? Did some of the children in the video 
uh, say the same thing you wrote down? Did they? Okay, well, let's go over some things about love. Love is an emotion. It is what we feel for one another. You know, you know that? An emotion, what you feel for one another. That's what love is. Love is more than what you say. It is also what you do. You can show people love by how you treat them, what you do by helping them. Telling people you love them is good, but showing people you love them is much better. When you love someone, you treat them kind. Don't you want to be treated kind? Yes, you do. When you love someone, you share your toys with them. You know, there are children that don't even have toys. So if you want to show love, share your toys with them. When you love someone, you can help them up when they fall. Don't you want someone to help you up if you fall? I do. So if somebody falls and you can help them up, help them up. That's showing love. Love is taking care of someone when they are sick or when they get hurt. Your parents take care of you when you're sick. So help take care of them when they're sick. Bring them a glass of water. Do things they ask you to do. Help take care of your parents or others when they are sick, okay? Love is sitting with someone in the cafeteria when no one else would sit with them. Can you imagine being a new student in class at the school and you go to lunch and no one sits with you? That, you would feel mighty bad. So you can show that new person love by sitting with them, okay? Love is helping someone pick up their crowns when they drop. Have you ever dropped a box of crayons? They go all over the floor. So if someone drops their crayon, they need help. Just help them. You can show love that way. Love is not laughing at someone when everyone else is laughing at you at them. That makes you feel bad when everybody's laughing at you. So you can show love by not laughing at them. Love is sharing your lunch with someone who forgot and left their lunch at home. Can you imagine going to school and you left your lunch at home? You got to go all day with nothing to eat? You can show love by sharing your lunch with that person. When you love someone, you are sad when they are sad, and you are happy when they are happy. Okay? So let's get to our activity page, because it's the end of the lesson, so we're going to do our activity. Okay? For the younger children, we have, what is the greatest? Do you remember what the greatest thing is that we talked about in today's lesson? It is faith, hope, or love. Color the greatest or biggest word below red. Then color the other two words in the star, any color you chose. So the greatest of these was what? Love. So that's the word at the bottom. You're going to color it red. And the rest of the page, you can color whatever color you like to color it, okay? Right. Now to the other children. Our activity is match the sentence parts. Match the first part of the sentence in column A to the second part in column B. Draw a line between the two to complete sentence from today's lesson. Column A. When you are a child, you speak. Okay, what's the answer to that one? Yes, C. You speak and think as a child. Number two, those who love others are not jealous or, what's your answer? A, proud or rude. Number three, with love, we are helpful. What's the answer? D, and endure in hard time. With love, we are helpful and endure in hard time. Number four, love helps us not give up. Which answer is it? That's right, E, or lose faith. Number five, now we have partial knowledge. What's the answer? You're right, B is left. Now we have partial knowledge, but later we will understand more.
So that's your activity for today, okay? So that's the end of the lesson, but before we do our dismissal, uh, the B attitudes is something that you need to learn. And you, we was learning them when we was uh, attending Sunday school. So I'm going to read off the Beatitudes, but at the end, after we do the dismissal, there's going to be, uh, be a video uh, with the Beatitudes, and you can kind of sing along with them if you know it. If you don't know it, kind of listen and learn the Beatitudes, okay? So, the first one. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Number two, blessed are they that moan, for they shall be comforted. Three, blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Number four, blessed are they who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Five, blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Six, blessed are the poor in heart, for they shall see God. Seven, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Number eight, blessed are they that have been persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of God. So that is the beatitude. So at the end, that's gonna be, be a video uh, singing the Beatitudes. If you know it, sing along with them. If not, you listen so you can learn the Beatitudes. Because when we get back to Sunday school in person, that's going to be something that we're going to talk about. Okay? But for now, let's do the dismissal. If you would stand and bow your heads and do the, do the dismissal with me. Let the words of my mouth, meditation of my heart, be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, my strength, my redeemer, amen. Now go and have a, a blessed week and be safe, okay? Matthew 5, 3 through 10. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Sing it again. Blessed.